we purchased a Class C that we call the Cottage. And when we purchased it, we purchased it used, and it didn't come with the privacy screen. There were some snaps here, but we couldn't, there was nothing that came with the camper. It had somehow disappeared along the way, along the 20 years. It's 20 years old, right? Or actually 19 years old. So in the 19 years, somehow the screen or the snaps or whatever it was that came with it that covered this front area and covered the top from the cab were missing. So we had to determine and figure out and we've been thinking about how we could fix that. So we are going to fix it today for relatively a small amount of money. So there's a few things you're gonna need for this project. Drill. We also purchased some blackout curtains. The link for these curtains will be in the description below. We also purchased some rod holders. Again, the link will be in the description. But what's so cool about these is they're really great for an RV because they clip, first of all. So as especially when you're moving and you're driving, it's gonna keep things really secure, more secure than a traditional uh, curtain rod holder. Secondly, they have some adhesive on the back as well as a spot for you to screw in as well. So if you didn't have, if you weren't able to screw in to wherever you were placing placing these, you could certainly just use the adhesive. We're gonna use both. And then, last but not least, we purchased a very long curtain rod that can extend because we had a pretty long area that we needed to cover because I didn't want it to be just this little spot right here. Like if we're gonna do it, we need to do it up the whole length. So we have a long curtain rod as well. So let's get started. Step number one is to determine where you want the rod and the rod holders. And then we're gonna go ahead and stick the rod holders in place. The last piece that we're gonna do here is we're gonna screw it in. And I've got some very tiny screws so that they don't go through this piece of plywood. So I'm just gonna go into the pre-drilled hole. And just gently put that in with not too much pressure because it is plastic. I don't want to break it. Just want to snug it in there. All right, so we now have our rod holder clips hung. So now all we have to do is hang the curtains. We purchased these curtains too that had large rings on them because this makes it a lot easier to slide. And in an RV, I feel like the ease of sliding because you're in a small space and I don't know, just for those reasons, it's, it's nice to have some curtains that slide very easily. So the next thing that we purchased and we have this hole still right here. So we wanted to figure out like there are times where if it's really hot and we want to keep all of the heat in the front cab, we want to be able to cover that or just for privacy reasons, maybe for even the, the light. So we purchased a paper shade and we went ahead and we put snaps we went ahead and we put snaps on the ends of the shade as well as snaps in the hole so we can snap this across. So our privacy screen turned out perfect and it was not expensive and it wasn't very hard to do either. So if you want to watch more videos like this, click on the video on the screen or go to our channel and check out our playlists. And if you found this video helpful, hit that like button and that subscribe button. And as always, doing it yourself allows you to save money and be free. See you in the next video.